So I'm really appreciative of companies like Nintendo celebrating their 20th anniversaries, 30th anniversaries of their video game series, because that's opened the door for other companies to do the same thing. And Blizzard has seen fit to celebrate the 20th anniversary of Diablo with special in-game events. And let me tell you, I'm super happy to see this. If you guys have never played a Diablo, played Diablo 3 or Reaper of Souls, that's going to be the background footage. So if you like what you see, make sure to check it out. You'll probably enjoy it quite a lot. I'll uh, emphasize this point a little bit later on and explain how to get this game and all of the stuff, even if you're a console owner. So let's get into the news story first. So there are going to be several game series that Blizzard are focusing on. Of course, their main entries, uh, though they do have some side series that you may not know about, but the main entries are going to be the ones we're focusing on here. So in Diablo 3, the Darkening of Tristram event will allow you to basically go into a Diablo-esque scenario for Diablo 3. So what I'm saying here is a Diablo 1 game mode put into the engine of Diablo 3 with a similar HUD, a similar aesthetic experience, just with a different engine, better graphics, and of course, updated gameplay mechanics. You'll be able to get a number of classic items from previous Diablo games, and that's going to be coming in after the first of the year on January. So I'm very excited for that, and I think a lot of other Diablo 3 players will be super excited for that too, so keep a lookout for that update. For everyone else, there's Hearthstone, where there's going to be a tavern brawl event. You'll meet a hooded stranger with a grim deck and slowly learn about this mysterious person, which will more than likely be the hero that killed the original Diablo. Uh, but I won't give that away if you've never really played the game, so I won't explain why he's hooded. The Heroes of the Storm will allow you to have a new brawl map for a Diablo themed portrait. Overwatch will feature in-game sprays invoking your favorite Diablo 3 classes and a new player icon paying homage to the Lord of Terror. And StarCraft 2 will allow you to have a Diablo themed worker portrait as well as World of Warcraft. You'll be encountering beings from Sanctuary in the realm of Azeroth. So there you go ladies and gentlemen. I think that's really really cool. If you guys enjoyed the gameplay in the background this is Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls. It's a very good game and I would definitely say pick it up. If you've never played Diablo before I would say start at Diablo 2 and you can find yourself the Diablo battle chest for $20 and you can get Diablo 3 and Reaper of Souls for $20. That's $40 for three comprehensive games two of which have expansion packs and quite a lot of content with the online server still being up. Diablo 1 is very difficult. I would compare it to Dark Souls if you've never played this type of game before. If you've played things like Baldur's Gate before, this probably won't be a problem for you, but there's been a lot of changes between Diablo 1 to Diablo 2. That's why I say you should probably start with Diablo 2 if you are going to get into the Diablo universe. $40 for all of the Diablos together. Uh, you could get every single one of them, and that's cheaper than the price of a new console game. But if you have consoles, don't worry, there is Diablo for the consoles, and it is Diablo 3, so it's not the same thing as playing it on a PC, as I always say, you know, I'm not a big fan of PC Master Race, but in this case, PC Master Race reigns supreme, because you can't really play Diablo 2 on your modern day consoles, and you can't play Diablo 1 on the modern day consoles, though Diablo 1 was available on PlayStation. Again, I would strongly suggest checking this game out at the very least, just looking at it, and if you don't like it, take the game back, buy it used, and return it if you hate it. It's a very good game, very fun, and for PC gamers, you'll probably enjoy it quite a bit more than being constrained to a controller, but the way they designed the game for the consoles, it works very well with the controller as well. So, ladies and gentlemen, I've been your host, Proto Mario, and I'm signing out. As always, good gaming, and God bless. Thanks for watching.